Hello everyone, Elias5891 here with another Contain Module tutorial. This time we're going to hit bitwise operators. Uh, this one's really heavy on the edge work, so let's get that out of the way first, then we'll look at how we solve this one. Uh, edge work. We have one battery in one holder. Uh, a lit SND and a lit TRN. Uh, a parallel port and an empty port plate. And a serial number of Juliet89 Mike Zulu1. Uh, in addition, because this will come up, this is something you'll usually talk about before a bomb begins, uh, this was a 10 module bomb with a 15 minute timer. Alright, so let's actually take a look at this. Uh, this is bitwise operators. Uh, what you have here is a byte, 8 bits, each of which can be toggled to a 1 or a 0, and a operation, either AND, OR, NOT, XOR, it's always one of those four, uh, and as the diffuser that's all you have to tell the expert actually is, alright I got a bitwise operator, it's an AND. Your job as the expert here is going to be to follow these two tables, which are really combined to one table, check for truths, and then do the operation to your answers. Let's illustrate. Uh, for the sake of uh, completion and explanation purposes, we'll go ahead and do both bytes, and then we'll do the actual operation that we need to do on this one. Now, here in the left column, you have the rules for the first byte. That's going to be 8 bits, 8 true-false checks. Uh, starting with the most significant bit, that would be the leftmost, and going down to the least significant. Uh, and for each of these, we're going to check the true-false status. If it is true, then it has a value of 1. If it is false, it has a value of 0. So let's go through this list, see what's true, see what's not. Uh, no AA batteries. I had one battery in one holder, that would be a D battery, so I did not have any. I had no AA batteries, that's true. So I start with a 1. Parallel port. Uh, that was the only port I had, that's true, that's a 1. Lit NSA. Uh, nope, looks like I had some others, but not that one. So that's false, that's a 0. More modules. Then you have starting time in minutes. 10 modules, 15 minutes. I do not have more modules than minutes. That's false, that's a zero. Uh, more than one lit indicator. I have two lit indicators, that's true. One. Number of modules is divisible by three. 10 does not divide evenly into three, so that's false, zero. Less than two D batteries, that's true, I only had one. One for true. Less than four ports, also true, only had one port one for true. That is my rule for byte one. 1100, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Do the same thing for byte two, following the rules here on the right. Uh, one or more D battery, true, we had exactly one. Three or more ports, that's false, we did not have that. Two battery holders or more, no, we only had one, that's false, zero. Lit bob, uh, no lit bob zero for false. More than one unlit indicator, that's a false. Odd serial number, serial number ends in a one, it is odd, that's true. Even number of modules, had ten, that is even, that's true, one. And two or more batteries, uh, we had one, so that is false, that's a zero. So for my second byte, my right side rules here, true, false, 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 true, true, false, or one zero zero zero, zero one one zero. That gets you your two starting bytes. Now depending on what operation you do, you're going to combine them in different ways. And we're going to do all four and then we're going to punch some in. So we're going to do AND, OR, XOR, and NOT. So let's start with an AND. Uh, for an AND statement, something is true if both 
conditions are true, if both parts of the condition are true. So if we're going to and these two, we're going to look at each bit individually. If they're both true, if they're both one, then the and is true. The and is a one. Otherwise, it's a zero. Uh, so looking through here, uh, first bit, most significant bit, first column, however you want to think about it, are they both ones? Yes, they are. That's a one. Here, no, I only have one one. I don't have any ones. I don't have any ones. I only have one. I only have one. Both of these are ones, so this is a one. And I only have one. So this is my answer if I and them. One zero zero zero, zero zero one zero. Let's go ahead and tell that to our diffuser. Uh, and one zero 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 one zero submit and it's green. That's an and statement. Next up, or statement. Let's uh, slide these up so I've got a little bit of room. We'll slide the and here to the bottom because we're done with it for now. For an or statement, again, we're going to go bit by bit. An or statement is true if either part is true. So if I have at least one one in my column, in my two bytes I'm look or bits that I'm looking at, then it's true. Uh, so I'm looking to see if there's any ones. So this one's definitely got a one. This one's got a one. This does not have any ones, so it's false. It's zero. This doesn't have any ones, so it's zero. That's got some ones. That's got some ones. That's got ones, and that's got ones. So the only ones that are zeros in my answer are the ones that are double zeros. So for or, I get this answer, one one zero zero, one 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 one. That's or. XOR, a little trickier. Uh, this one doesn't come up quite as often in various things. For an XOR, the X stands for exclusive or. That means you're looking at two things and you're seeing if it's in exactly one. It's in this one or that one, but it can't be in both. So for this one, you're looking for bits where you have exactly one one. Uh, so this one, even though the OR statement, the regular OR, is a 1, this one's going to be a 0 because they're both 1's. It's not exclusive to one of the bytes. So that's a 0, 1, and we're just looking to see if we have exactly 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So you'll notice only this column, this column, this column, this column. These are the 1's that have a single 1 in them. Not two ones, not two zeros. Number the digits, the bits have to differ. So for XOR, it's zero one zero zero one one zero one. I'll go ahead and submit it. You can see that that's actually what I punched in when the lights come back on. I'll go ahead and slide this down. In the meanwhile. Zero one zero zero one one zero one. Last up, not. Uh, the not actually is only a one byte command, so you get to ignore the second byte completely. Goodbye, second byte. Uh, a not is just you swap each of the bits in the first byte. So ones become zeros, zeros become ones. So this becomes zero zero one one zero one zero zero. Notice I just took the opposite. Zeros became ones, ones became zeros. So my answer for not zero zero one one zero one zero zero. Uh, now notice once this one is solved, you can still toggle, you can still strike. So don't don't play around with it when it's done. Shouldn't have a reason to, but you know, something to be aware of. Um, this one's relatively simple, so I'm gonna go ahead blank the screen give you some edge work and let you try one. Uh, I'll ask you to do all four and or XOR not. Uh, and we'll see how you do with it. So let's blank the screen. And let me give you some edge work. This time there are two batteries in two holders. 
lit bob, lit car, PS2 port, RJ port, serial number, whiskey one two, Romeo Alpha six. I didn't change anything, so it's still ten modules, fifteen minutes. Uh, and I do have all four to check. So do it. Do the figure out those bytes. Do an AND, an OR, an XOR, and a NOT, and we'll take a look at them together. Alright, let's take a look now. Do the AND first. Uh, first off, here are my bytes. Uh, the true conditions, there were no AA batteries. 2 and 2 means 2 Ds. There was more than one lit indicator, there were 2. There were less than 4 ports, there were 2. More than one D battery this time, or one or more rather. Two battery holders or more. Lit Bob. Even modules. Two or more batteries. Those were your trues. And the ones that I had left unhighlighted were your falses. So that becomes 1000, 1001, 1011, 0011. So if we want an AND, we look at them and we figure out which ones have a 1 in both columns and both bits. Uh, at a quick glance we can see that's the first one the last one. So for our AND, 1000, zero, 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 1. For our OR, we're looking for either of them to be a 1. So, this column doesn't have a 1, this column doesn't have a 1, but all the others do. So those should be my only zeros. So for my OR, 1, 0, because I don't have a 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. There's my OR. XOR, exclusive OR, I want only one, not both, to be ones. So this is a 0, because they match. They're both ones, both zeros. 1, 1, 1, both zeros, 1, both 1's. So for my XOR, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. And last up, my NOT. That's just taking the first byte and reversing it. 1's become zero, zeros become 1's, like so. Zero one one one, zero one one zero, and that's my knot. Uh, and that's bitwise operators. Not too bad of a module. Uh, takes a little bit, maybe getting used to the XORs if you haven't done those. The knots haven't been seen a lot. The ands and the ors actually are used in logic as well in a similar way. So those should be ones that maybe aren't as difficult, maybe a little more familiar. Thanks, alarm clock. Well, on that note. Uh, this is it for this one. Uh, this has been Elias. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, leave them in the comment section below as always. And until next time, guys, have fun. Don't explode. Bye, guys.